Hello everyone, it's Akatrius here and I welcome you to this new video. Today I want to show to you guys this replay. This is a tag duel between people from the YukiTuber chat. If you're not a part of that chat yet, you should definitely get into it because it is a very nice chat and all. We are having a lot of fun, a lot of tags, a lot of videos in that chat. It's, it's awesome. I put the link to it down in the description. So in this tag duel, we have Dan Wolf and me against Alikie and Neckhorse22 and yeah we're playing um, Blackwing on Damwolf and Christron on my uh, side against Cardians on Neckhorse and Blue for Alikie. Alright let's just get into the game. So my partner starts off by making his Raid Raptor things, I have no idea about Raid Raptors and he ends with the 7 Sins. So we've got that cover, we have a 4000 beater, but what he doesn't know is that LEK is LEK and he wouldn't be LEK if he wouldn't play blue. So he goes for Metaphys Horus and steals that thing immediately. And yeah, there goes all of his efforts. Now it's my turn and I have to make a quite big turn for me because, well, <laughs> look at this hand. and. During this turn, of course, Alike can draw three cards by Maxi, and I can set two cards here. So what we have here right now is the perfect setup for a multitude of um, synchros, because we have entry in the graveyard, which we can activate, entry and impact on the field, which we can activate, and we have smugger banders, so we have a target for impact, and we have Kiwan on the field. So we have a lot of things to do and now there's going on some cardian stuff and holy damn does cardians have long turns like holy shit so it, this is where actually misplayed I should have actually summoned the Q1 so I have a C3 for next turn and it matters especially a bit later a bit more because you, you will see what I mean by this because I can do math and alright, I think now it is when it happens. I summon Christron Gleon Gunder, and if I would have uh, used Q1 from my hand, I could have summoned him with 4 materials, making me able to banish four, uh, all 4 monsters on the side of the field, which would have been very nice, but this way I had to let Metaphys Horus live and stuff. So I hope that, I hope that that was enough, but holy damn, Karians have a lot of shit. And yeah, he still can he can still go for light shower and make some more plays and stuff, but in the end he doesn't run over Gleon Gunder and yeah. Because he wants to protect his Amishiko and he doesn't want me to special summon the seven sins again. Also I made a little mistake here. I activate entry on Q1 by discarding Fistburn, but I should have actually uh, used Fistburn on Gleon Gunder, so Gleon Gunder would have been level three and if LK would go for a Crystal Wing, he couldn't actually attack over Gleon Gunder because he is level 3. So that was a quite little mistake by myself. So I made two mistakes in this ro uh, set, uh, turn rotation already. Now we have our uh, Raid Raptor player go for the ultimate Falcon again. So we have a pretty decent field and actually, actually. Do you realize how similar those two cards look? Like, Ultimate Falcon and Gleon Gunder look extremely similar. <laughs> but alright, Alike of course does his turn, and he does it very good, but he can't go over our cards, so he tries to somehow stall, stall us out. And then this happened. So I just run over Trito with Q1 because I don't want him to negate my stuff. And yeah, I let Ankleos live, and the Karian dies, so. I know the next turn is the Cardian turn and he can't do anything with Ankylos. So I don't want him to be able to do stuff with his Cardian monster, of obviously, so I do this. And afterwards I go for my place and try to get him as far as I can. Here I didn't uh, I didn't destroy any card with South Avenue because I targeted Ultimate Falcon who is of course unaffected by that, but he can still be targeted so... I can, I can still choose to destroy him, but he isn't destroyed because he's unaffected. So that was a good play. I go for Altenmeyer, and I don't go for uh, Crystal Wing, 
I go for Moonlight because I had a feeling that it could have been useful, but I was proven wrong by this card. Carnian Yanagi or Willow actually doesn't care about Moonlight Rose Dragon whatsoever, so yeah, that was a little misplay at that point, but it did not matter too much. So, the opponent goes for a quite long turn now, and in the end he gets to special summon, um, yeah, he gets to special summon five lights, and goes over ultimate falcon with it. And this was a, a rather bad situation for him, because he should have actually get over moonlight rose, so whenever LAK special summons, uh, we couldn't bounce this. But he should have also gone over uh, Ultimate Falcon because otherwise his five lights would have not been able to do stuff uh, to run over cards because yeah it would have been too low of an anti K. So this was a rather win-win situation for us basically. All right, now we are trying to uh, kind of get back into the game, and he just gets the Ultimate Falcon back, so he did not actually negate it. So, that was a thing. And yeah, Alike of course going for the Alike place. And he summons those cards. We can bounce with Fireflies because Alike activated Duplicity and did not attack over uh, Moonlight Brand before. So we can bounce with Fireflies without having to fear anything. And that is the second actual misplay because he thought this wouldn't be mandatory and he wastes all of this to destroy everything but in the end he does not really destroy any everything because for one ultimate falcon is unaffected and for two Gideon Gunder summons back a banished monster so we have again two big monsters on the field and then i actually draw into deep sea trench and guess what i do i get my Gideon Gunder back but if he gets special summon back on the field of course he cannot special summon any banished monster again afterwards because that is only if he was synchro summoned but still we have a lot of beaters and we can go for a lot of damage basically in this situation LK made his third mistake of his turn uh, of his turn rotation as he discarded swift scarecrow on ultimate falcon who is still unaffected so nothing happened because the attack couldn't be negated in the end, he tries to get some life out of this, he goes plus 4000, and yeah. Um, yeah, we are back at the Cardian's place, but he has nothing left in his deck, he can't do anything anymore, so yeah, this is getting a bit sad. Now, um, actually, it's the Bloodwing player's turn to make misplays, as he did not attack. Uh, Red Resonator with South Fafnir, but attack Red Resonator with Gleon Gunder, so I couldn't go for game next turn, but you will see that, as LK will be able to do a lot of Cardium Bush, or uh, a lot of Cardium stuff, so he has four monsters on the field, and I just have five, and if, if uh, my partner would have attacked appropriately, we would have been able to get the game from this point, but in the end it doesn't matter because you know the hand of the Cardian player who actually has nothing. <laughs> As we see right now, and we can just go straight for the game with a very very strong beater field. And yeah, this has been this replay, I wanted to show this off because this is the first game I actually did with this Chris Trom build, I will show you in the stream and later maybe in a video. And yeah, I actually got a Gleon Gunder the first actual game of this deck. So yeah, I wanted to show this off and yeah, it was a pretty pretty fun tag. And thanks to Dan Wolf, Alec and Necros22, I gained the permission of those people, so it's alright. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of this tag compilation uh, tag video things, please let me know. And yeah, this has been Actrius and stay radiant.